Uh, so here's three types of phishing email. So this, this one is fairly easy to detect because this, you can see that when we put our cursor over it, then it's actually a graphic and we can see the link there uh, that the user, if the user clicks on, that's where they'll actually go. So uh, although there's a hyper, the hypertext link is in the in the graphic, the whole graphic itself is um, is uh, a, a link. Okay, so we can actually have a look at the source, and we should be able to see that. Okay, so you can see there. All that is is a table, and then there's a link. There's the graphic in there. And then the the graphic is embedded in this hypertext link. So we could maybe try and uh, go there just to see. Okay, so for this one, actually, this this one looks okay. So it's obvious that that link has been taken over uh, with the correct site. And so this 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 one here uh, is obviously a different type there. So often what we do is we look at the details of the the email. So in this case, uh, the details are contained in here, and we can actually look to see where the the email was actually sent from. Okay, so uh, each uh, link along the way in terms of SMT, SMTP will add their own header onto the, the email message. Okay, so we can actually see the basic route that it's actually taken. So here we go. So that's a little bit strange because that's a, that's a private IP address. And so we can see it's been through quite a few hops before it's actually got to the destination there. So, okay, so the first one that we see is the first host that's actually received it. And it's that, that one there. It's then hopped over quite a few uh, SMTP relays to be able to get to the end source. You can see that it's jumping over all these ones here until it gets to the end one, which is this end one here. Okay, so if we look at this, then it really doesn't look a very valid uh, source for the email. Certainly it isn't coming from Barclays, that's that's for sure. Okay, there might be some other things with inside the, the SMTP header, which gives us some extra information. So we can see lots of other little things in there. Okay, so there's some things to do with this HU domain again. Okay, so that's an obvious sign is that when when the uh, a whole graphic is used for the for the email, this is another type of one. We can see here that uh, the actual link here obviously isn't taking you to uh, the the end source. Okay, so this is BarclaySecure.co.uk, so you can really not trust email address there. This is support at zen.com. And let's have a look at this one. So we can see here there's the there's the link. Although it says Barclay client area, you can see it's going to some other link here. Okay, so there's there's no tracking on this one. There's no unique ID. And then we can see here obviously if you put in your details there then there's a very good chance that uh, you might lose your Barclay Cloud information then. Okay, so the, the final one we'll have a look at is this one here. So this one here is uh, the standard HMRC one. So when we open up this HTML page, we we'll actually find it looks like a normal, a normal uh, uh, tax submission that we would get there. So here is all our Visa card details and so on. But uh, when we actually look at the source, okay, 
Okay, so here we go. So when we look at the source, we're looking for a form tag. Okay, so there's the some form things in there. And that's going to process them. Okay, so all that's doing is that that's given us a uh, some some details uh, about uh, entering the username and the details. And we can see here what's happening is that uh, the whole style sheet from the HMRC site is actually used. So the the graphics and fonts and so on are very much as as we would use on the HMRC site. It's a little bit of script. And then if we come down here, then uh, there's the content of the of the page. And again, th there's all the the main HMRC links and so on. And what we're really looking for is the form tag. Okay, and there it is there. Okay, so the form tag wraps up all the user details that are actually contained between the between the form tags, uh, and then it will send the the details that are gathered, such as the email address here, cardholder name, and so on, to this address here, and it does that through a, a post. So the post will post details from a form into a remote uh, uh, website. Okay, so you can see the maliciousness there as part of that. Uh, really, this is going off to a site that that will take all these details and obviously uh, uh, much of the details could actually be siphoned off. You see that all the links actually lead to proper uh, details there. If we look at the details itself from the email And we'll try and see where it came from, uh, from here, originally. And there we go. So there is the first email, really. And that certainly doesn't look like uh, the HMRC sent that. OK. OK, so that showed you a few examples of uh, phishing emails where, where uh, intruders try to trick the users.